If you're looking for a massive assembly line, you won't find it. This is Inficon's East Syracuse production floor. And while the Syracuse area has lost many large-scale traditional factories in recent years, Inficon President Peter Meyer says high-tech, skilled manufacturing is thriving for them. We haven't expanded this footprint for close to 25 years, and we've quadrupled sales in that time frame, so it's getting pretty tight around here. With a $1 million grant from New York State and $1.5 million in tax credits, Inficon is launching a $20 million expansion and plans to add 40 new jobs. Inficon produces sensitive gas analysis instruments. Workers are educated and highly skilled, some working in sealed rooms, so there's no risk of contaminants interfering with sensitive equipment. And when you look around some of the companies, the manufacturing companies that are doing well, many of them specialize in particular areas uh, with a core competence in something that they just do much, much better than anyone else. Inficon has 240 employees in East Syracuse now, developing and engineering products that are exported to more than 50 countries. Instead of moving offshore and looking for cheap labor, Inficon says central New York has been ideal for finding the skilled engineers and tech employees they need. We're not looking to offshore or, or look for the uh, cheaper elbow grease dollar somewhere else. We're looking for the smartest and best uh, brains and that we can add to, to our team. Inficon will be before the DeWitt planning board on Thursday night with some concepts for the expansion. From there, they'll have a better idea how things will move forward. For now, reporting from East Syracuse, I'm Alex Dunbar.